for my partner, care if it's right or wrong. So much pain in my body, I've been like this too like long. long. So much try to stop me, but I keep moving on. What it is, what it do, YouTube? This is your girl, Tasha Matt, 13, 15. And I told y'all I was coming with y'all with the LeBron 25 scrapes. Yes, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Um, I had got these Thursday. I got one of my retired co-workers to go cop these for me because I was working and I couldn't get off. And like I said, I already took off for my aunt's funeral. So, like I said, I had to go get them to cop them for me from the house of hoops. Um, I always got to have a backup plan. I always got to have somebody there in play. So when you can't get it, you got to send somebody else to get it. But anywho, let's get into this. And here is the box. You can see you had a 16 stripes. And this is in reference to the number it the number it takes to win an NBA championship. So well in the box, as you can see here, you also had that same number on the four right here. On this gold type four like card. And on the back. See, you had the association, the Nike, the Jordan, and the Converse sign up top. And it says, 16, the number of playoff wins standing between every player today and their ultimate goal of becoming a champion. Just as every champion that came before them, achieving the game's highest honors require assess over a fit night number of wins. This shared instinctual mindset becomes the catalyst for each player to celebrate the transformation into a champion, an approach that paves the way for iconic career-defining moments powerful enough to transcend the game and fuel the evolution of culture. The Champions Think 16 collections under the collective mentality shared by the game's greatest competitors, the moments synonymous with their greatness, and, and um, pivotal role Nike Inc. played in cementing each champion's proven place in history. So, here it is. LeBron 25 straight. An issue is in reference to when he played against the Detroit Pistons back in 2007. And he wore these and he scored 25 straight points and along with being his first soldier shoe I mean guys I mean the leather on this shoe is oh my god that tumble leather on this shoe this is the real deal leather i'm trying to tell y'all i mean this is what they need to start putting on the shoes today i mean that good leather um man i'm i'm really digging this shoe y'all i'm digging this shoe um i have none of the i really started collecting from i have one pair of the 11s and that was the um Heroes. I really love those heroes. Um, but this is my first Soldier Ones. I was in school 2007. I was in 11th grade, 10th grade. Yeah, so man, so I'm really, really digging a shoe. And back then, I knew my mother wasn't gonna pay that much for a shoe. So, anywho, right here. On the midfoot, you see you had this strap. And you see you had that Nike check in white, trimmed in gold. And right here, you had the lion with the gold, with the white eyes popping out. Then here, you see you had the number 23. Go ahead. Then right here, you see you have the LeBron 23 with the crown underneath. See, it wraps around the back of the shoe. Well, side of the shoe. 
And you see underneath you had a Nike check. And on the opposite side, you see you had the L23 with the crown underneath. And on that same side, it says passion, vision, and win. I don't know if y'all can see that. And on the inside, you see you had a number 16 there. And then right here, you see you have the LRJ, his full name. Then on the front right here, See, you had your Nike Zoom. And on the very back of the lower part, you have LeBron James there. Sometimes I hate when you get a shoe with a defect because there ain't nothing you can do about it. See, I got a little chip, chip right there. Ugh. I be hating that. Take this paper out the inside. On the inside, you see you had the association written in there. Um, I don't know what happened there, but like I was saying, y'all go tell a friend to go tell a friend to hit that like, subscribe button to help your girl build the channel up. Um, like I said, drop those comments below. Let me know whether you cop these, what you think about these. Um, whether I mean, y'all just tell me what y'all think of this shoe. Um, the soldier shoes itself, I mean, the soldier shoes today don't have nothing on the old soldier shoes. I mean, good quality, good quality compared to the ones they making now. Man, I'm saying to myself, I wish I was able to collect back then. But like I said, my mama won't go buy no shoes back then. See, now I got the money. I can do what I want. But... Y'all, like I said, tell me what y'all think. Drop those comments below. Help your girl build a channel up. And like I said, go tell a friend to go tell a friend. And remember to always strive for greatness.